hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to make this very cute little dog pouch so what you're gonna need is you'll need two kinds of yarn the white yarn and another color for myself i use the brown yarn and i used a crochet hook which is 2.5 millimeters and also i use uh, this kind of yarn it's a thin yarn but i usually crochet in double so that i have firm stitches and that's what you're gonna need so let's get started okay so in the first row we are going to start first to the magic ring and then we're going to do six single crochets into the magic ring so we're going to do one two three four five and six okay and then i'm going to pull my yarn to close the gap okay and then I'm, i'll put a, a stitch marker over here okay so now after that uh in the second row we are going to increase every stitch all the way around for a total of 12 stitches so i'm going to go into the next stitch and do two single crochet in the same stitch Okay, and also you continue increasing also in the next stitch okay same thing in the next stitch also increase okay so increase all the way to the end okay so after that now in our third row we are going to do single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches okay so we're going to do single crochet in the next stitch and then increase in the next one And then we're going to keep repeating that so single crochet and increase okay and then you're going to keep repeating the same pattern all the way to the end okay so now in our fourth row uh, we're going to do two single crochet then increase and repeat that all the way around for a total of 24 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two then increase in the next stitch and then you're going to keep repeating that so two single crochets then increase in the next stitch okay and then you're going to keep repeating that all the way to the end Okay, so now in our fifth row, uh, we're going to do three single crochet, then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 30 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet, one, two, three, and then increase in the next stitch. And then repeat that again, so three single crochets. and increase in the next stitch okay you're going to keep repeating that all the way round okay so now in our sixth row uh, we're going to do four single crochet then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 36 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four and increase and then we're going to repeat that so for single crochets one two 
three, four, and increase in the next stitch. Okay, so keep repeating that until the end. Okay, so now in our seventh row, uh, we're going to do five single crochets, then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 42 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet one, two, three, four, five, and then increase in the next stitch. And then we're going to keep repeating that. So five single crochets. Two, three, four, five, and increase in the next stitch. Okay, so you're going to keep repeating that all the way to the end. Okay, so now after you're done with that, so now for the next 13 rows, which is from row 8 until row 20, we are going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 42 stitches in each row. Okay, so for the next 13 rows, so please do single crochet all the way around in each row. And then after that, I'll show you how to continue with the, uh, with the last row, which is the 21st row. Okay, so now after you're done, uh, this is how the little pouch looks like after you're done until the 20th row. So now for, uh, you can see the size, uh, this is how it should look like. So now we're going to continue to the 21st row, which is the last row. And uh, for that row, we're going to do the edging all the way around. So I'm just going to place my little marker over here. Or just leave it because it's the last row. Okay. So for this row, we're going to start by doing a single crochet in the first stitch. Okay, and then after that, we're going to skip one stitch. And then we're going to do five double crochets in the next stitch. So skip the next stitch and go to the next stitch. So we're going to do five double crochet in that. So one. Two, three, four, and five. Okay, and then after that, we are going to skip the next stitch and in the next stitch we're going to do a single crochet okay so remember uh, this is how we started so we're going to continue like that so single crochet then skip the next stitch and do five double crochets in the next stitch so we're going to do a double crochet one two three, four, and five. Okay, and then you're going to keep repeating that. So skip the next stitch and single crochet in the next stitch. And then skip the next stitch and do five double crochets in the next one. So double crochet one, two, three, four, and five. 
okay so you're going to you can see this is how it's coming along so you're going to keep repeating that all the way until you get back to where you started okay so now when you get to the end we're going to do five uh, double crochet over here one two three four and the last one five okay and then we're going to go into the next stitch and slip stitch okay like that then you're going to take your scissors and cut the yarn okay so this is how the little parts is gonna look like okay so now after we are done with that uh, we're going to make the ears now okay so for the ears I'm going to use the brown yarn and we're going to start with the magic ring first Okay, so I just do the magic ring and six single crochets into the magic ring. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, and then I'm going to pull my yarn. Okay, so now in the second row, uh, we're going to increase every stitch all the way around uh, for a total of 12 stitches. So I'm going to go into the next stitch and do two single crochet in the same stitch or increase and increase also in the next stitch. and increase in the next one too okay so continue increasing all the way until to the end okay so after that now in our third row uh, we're going to do single crochet in the next three stitches then increase and repeat three times for a total of 15 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one and then single crochet two single crochet three and increase in the next stitch and then you're going to repeat that again so three single crochet Then increase in the next stitch. Okay, and then you're going to repeat that again one more time. Okay, so after you're done with that, now for the next three rows, which is from row four until row six, we're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 15 stitches in each row. So you're going to continue and do single crochet, single crochet, single crochet and continue all the way to the end and also for the next two rows. So I'll see you when you're done with the sixth row so that we start the seventh row together. Okay, so after the sixth row, this is how it should look like. So now in our seventh row, we're going to start decreasing and we're going to do single crochet in the next three stitches then decrease and repeat three times for a total of uh, 12 stitches okay so uh we're going to do single crochet one two three four 
three and then we're going to decrease in the next stitch so we're going to go into the front loop of the next stitch pull through and then the back loop of the next stitch pull through and pull through all the three loops together okay and then we're going to repeat that so three single crochets one two three and then decrease okay and then you're going to repeat that again one more time Okay, so after that now in my uh, in the eighth row we're going to do single crochet in the next two stitches then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of nine stitches okay so we're going to do single crochet one two and then decrease And then we're going to keep repeating that so two single crochets and decrease okay and then you're going to repeat that again one more time Okay, so after you're done with that, now for the next two rows, which is row 9 and row 10, which is the last row, uh, we're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 9 stitches in each row. So please do another two rows of single crochets and it's going to look something like that. And then when you're done, cut off your yarn and then we're going to start making the muzzle. Okay, so... For the muzzle we are going to start with a chain five so i already did that and we're going to start working uh, from the second chain from the hook and in the second chain we're going to start by increasing okay so we're going to increase and then after that we're going to do single crochet in the next two stitches so we're going to do single crochet and single crochet in the next stitch also okay and then after that we're going to do three single crochets in the last stitch so we're going to do single crochet one so another single crochet two and also in the same stitch the last single crochet so we have a total of three single crochet in the uh, last stitch of the of this side okay so now we're going to turn to the other side and in the other side we're going to do single crochet in the next three stitches okay so we're going to do single crochet and single crochet also in the next stitch and single crochet in the other chain Okay, so in total now we have a total of 10 stitches in that in the first row or in the first round so now in our second round we are going to start by doing single crochet in the next stitch so we're just going to do single crochet uh, okay and then in the next stitch we're going to increase okay and then after that we're going to do single crochet in the next two stitches single crochet and another single crochet and then in the next stitch we're going to increase so increase okay and then we're going to do single crochet in the next stitch
and then we're going to increase in the next stitch okay and then you're going to do single crochet in the next two stitches single crochet and single crochet and increase in the last stitch so increase Okay, so now after that uh, in our last row which is round three we are going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 14 stitches so you're just going to do single crochet single crochet single crochet so do single crochet all the way around to the end and then when you're done cut off your yarn and leave it long for sewing and then after that i'll show you how to join all the parts together okay guys so as you can see i've already finished attaching the parts together so attaching the parts is quite easy so what you do is uh, first you attach the nose at the very center of the pouch and then after that uh, you're going to attach the ears at the side like uh one two you're just going to count like two or three stitches to the left of the nose and also on the other side and attach them or sew them in and then after that i just made these little eyes uh because i didn't want to attach the doll eyes so what i did is i did six single crochets into the magic ring and that is what i used to form the two eyes and then after that i embroidered um the eyebrows over here and then that's it so and then also for the inside I'm going to make a little bit lining to put it on the inside and a zip on top so when I'm done I'm just gonna put a zip over here because it's a little present for someone as you can see I attach a little thank you note so this is what I attach uh, with all my handmade products so I usually attach uh, this little tag over here okay and that's basically it guys i hope you enjoyed this pattern if you have any questions you can ask in the comments below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe i make a video every week and until next time bye